Hello everyone, I'm Jessica L. Butler, I'm GMN Editor of the Baitable Enterprise, and I am here on another beautiful Thursday, January 14th at the Baitable Enterprise offices on 203 Main Street in Beattyville. I am doing our weekly review of what's in print and what's been online through the weekend. We did a lot of Bobcat and Lady Cat coverage, um, actually so much that I don't know if everything got on there, so we hope we got it in print. Um, we watched it through the weekend. We have a big game coming up um, at home on um, Friday, January 15th. I say that, let me make sure. Let me look in the handy dandy newspaper that has our um, schedule. And we are playing on the 15th. We're playing against Owsley. So anyway, um, like I said, the schedule's on page 7 on print. We also have it online. As you can tell, since it's School Spirit Month here at the Baitable Enterprise, I am wearing my Lee County Bobcat gear. You can, um, I don't know if you can still get it online at the link that we had in November, December of the end of last year, but you can get gear at Walgreens, and you can also call Tony Barrett, the athletic director, to see where else you can get gear. And speaking of Tony Barrett, he is one of our headline stories this week. I sat down with him last week, talked to him about the athletic program for the Lee County Middle High School, how it's going um, with COVID and how we can help. Um, also, we talked last week about the smoke here at the Beta Enterprise office within the Collinton building, and we just gave an update via print for those that don't have digital. Um, also... The January Baitable City Council meeting was via teleconference, and it was very short and sweet. So um, we got that information in there. Um, we have a report from Paul, um, Paul Nesbitt of Nesbitt Engineering. We also have a report from our Baitable Police Chief, Steve Mays. And speaking of him, he's one of our sponsors this week for our school spirit, for our student spotlight that we're doing all month. We may continue student spotlight all the way until the end of the year. I haven't decided yet. I just don't know if it'll always be in color. But our two student spotlights this week are um, Emily Griffin and Colt William Logston. He's pretty special to me. Um, I figure, you know, he needs a shout out. He can't help what job his mother has. So it's not nepotism. He is truly a great student and he's doing a great job. You can ask his teachers if you don't believe me. Anyway, um, also, we got a, you have a report, a December report from um, Farrell Wise, which are, is our public works director. Also, like I said last week, um, the legislators started meeting for session in Frankfurt a week ago Tuesday. So I've started covering that for session. It's called Frankfurt Focus. I think it's important for us because it does affect us locally. Um, what they do in Frankfurt. So it's, you know, our um, state representative for our 91st district is Bill Wesley. He is part of these things that are being decided on. So be sure to check that out. And like I said, we're doing School Spirit Week here at the Beta, or School Spirit Month here at the Beta Enterprise offices. So this is talking about how um, you can get your kid if you just want to spotlight your child something that makes you happy. They don't have to be straight A students, just something that they do that you feel that you need to brag about. Send it to us. You can email us at three words, the Beattyville Enterprise at gmail.com, or you can even Facebook message us all the pertinent information, which is anything you want people to know about, brag about, their name and a picture. Also coming up, um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That will be this coming Monday, which is January 18th. It's a time to honor um, MLK and all that he did for civil rights. And people think civil rights is just for people of color. And no, it's civil rights for everyone. It just happened to be the people of color that stood up and said, you know what, enough's enough, something's got to change. So um, it's about that and how he paved the way for people of color to have the rights they so equally deserve. So anyway, um, Thompson Chapel, Avis Thompson, they're going to be doing um, a program, awareness program via Zoom. So the contact information's on there to contact um, Avis Thompson. 
and to see how you can listen in on that. I am one of the members of the panel. There are other members. Um, trying to think, is there anything else? Our sponsors this week for Student Spotlight is um, Tom Jones, our attorney at law here on Main Street. Also, the city of Beattyville, want to give them a shout out. Um, they're always supporting our student. And like I said, Steve Mays, um, is one of our sponsors this week. He's our Beatable Police Chief. We'll be doing an upcoming story on how the department's doing and so forth in these last couple years that he has been Police Chief. And I think he's doing an amazing job. Um, also, the Lee County Public Library. Let's give them a shout out this week. You see they have the heart for love of books and their students. They're sponsoring Student Spotlight this week. So if you're a business or an individual that would like to sponsor our Student Spotlights, please just let us know. Um, they are $25 and $50 ads. We have $50, $50, $25, $25. $25. So um, they will be in color. So just get in touch with us. You can call our office at 464-2444, or you can email us, like I said, at debatableenterprise.com. And this will also be going online with our other um, stories. And this is, for example... Um, our website, this is the Beattyville website, but if you scroll down, when you subscribe, we got a lot going on here, when you subscribe, you will also get, it's being slow today, come on, there we go, you will also get a link to our seven other newspapers within our Nolan Media Group. Anyway, Remember to go out and support your Lee County Bobcats, and we will have the highlights, the scores of the game, and hopefully some pictures on the web over the weekend before it goes into print next week. Anyway, it is a good day to have a great day. Be safe, be well, be blessed. Go Bobcats! Go Lady Cats! <laughs>